Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a deep dive into Elementary OS, a Linux distribution that's often touted as the perfect alternative to Windows and Mac OS, especially if you're after a clean, minimalist design with a touch of that classic Mac feel. So, if you're curious about what makes Elementary OS so unique and whether it's the right fit for you, stick around. So, what exactly is Elementary OS? Well, it's an operating system you can install on your PC as a replacement for something like Windows or Mac OS. Unlike many Linux distributions that either mimic Windows or try to reinvent the desktop experience, Elementary OS takes a different route. It offers a polished, minimalist interface that looks and feels a lot like Mac OS. If you're used to a Mac, you'll find yourself right at home with Elementary OS. There's a dock full of launchable icons at the bottom of the screen, and a top panel on the right side that gives you quick access to settings, similar to Mac OS's control center. Another standout feature of Elementary OS is its curated selection of custom-built apps. Unlike other distros that bundle together third-party apps from the open-source community, Elementary OS comes with its own in-house apps. We're talking about a custom web browser, email client, music player, and more. These apps are designed to integrate seamlessly with the system, providing a cohesive and smooth experience that you don't always get with other Linux distributions. Now, let's talk installation. Installing elementary OS is pretty straightforward, even if you're new to Linux. The latest version, 7.1, supports Secure Boot, so you won't need to disable any settings that could make your system less secure. You can also try out elementary OS in a demo mode without installing it, which is a great way to see if it's right for you before making any changes to your hard drive. During the installation process, you'll be guided by a simple setup wizard that makes it easy to get started. Whether you're burning an ISO file to a disk or using a virtual machine, the process is smooth and user-friendly. Plus, if you want to avoid all the technical stuff, you can even buy a laptop or PC with elementary OS pre-installed from retailers like Laptop with Linux or Star Labs. Once installed, getting settled in with elementary OS is a breeze. The learning curve is relaxed, especially if you're familiar with Mac OS. On your first startup, a wizard helps you personalize your desktop, connect your email, and choose a color scheme. One thing to note, don't forget to run a system update right after installing. I missed that step, and my web browser didn't work until I updated the system. The software store in elementary OS is a bit different from what you might be used to. By default, it only shows apps that have been carefully curated by the elementary team to ensure they integrate well with the desktop and adhere to privacy and security guidelines. If you need more software, like Steam or LibreOffice, you'll need to enable FlatHub support. But don't worry, this is a simple process, and I didn't run into any issues with the software I installed. Now, let's be real. Elementary OS isn't for everyone. If you're a power user or someone who loves to tinker with your system, you might find Elementary OS a bit restrictive. For instance, there's no default task tray, which means bringing background apps like Discord or Nextcloud to the foreground can be a bit annoying. And if you're used to tools like KDE Connect, you might be disappointed to learn that it doesn't work with Elementary's Pantheon desktop, at least not without some complicated workarounds. But here's the thing. Elementary OS isn't trying to cater to power users or tinkerers. It's designed for people who just need an operating system that works and lets them get things done without fuss. It's like a no-frills office space. Everything you need is there, and it's all organized in a way that makes sense. If you're someone who wants a clean, straightforward computing experience, elementary OS could be exactly what you're looking for. So, there you have it, a hands-on look at elementary OS. Whether you're a Linux newbie looking for something user-friendly or a Mac user curious about Linux, Elementary OS offers a polished, cohesive experience that's hard to beat. If it sounds like your kind of operating system, head over to the Elementary OS website to download it and give it a try. And if you want to learn more about installing Linux, check out our other videos for some helpful guides. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Linux content. And as always, leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think about Elementary OS. See you in the next video.